Nah, I fucked with Pat. Yeah. Look at how he talks to these niggas. Yeah, yo. Yo, turn that shit up. Turn that shit the fuck up. Turn right now. Talking that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, yo. Yo. When you up and you winning, shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gonna cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit the boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run and see yourself staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. As long as we calling it what it is, I have no problem with the results. All right, all right. I'm never mad at anybody ghost writing. I just, I, do I even need to say this again? Or can we just move on? Go ahead. Because it might tie into what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. There's always an asterisk next to your name when you got a ghost writer, when you start talking about who's the greatest of all time, for me, mm -hmm. and for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. right? So. Well, now I got to ask you, do some artists, like what we was talking about just now, mm -hmm. do some of them hide it? Or some people working with you and they're like, yo, tell them. No, I mean, out of respect, I ain't gonna tell them because I don't wanna, you know, I want you to believe the role. Mm -hmm. But you gotta think, at the end of the day, it's like, it's certain people who rap to the music industry and it's certain people who rap for the music industry. Okay. For okay. hip hop. Like, you gotta think, if I'm rapping, I want my album to represent hip hop at the Grammys. You want me and my engineer and a sack of weed to compete with fucking Adele and she got 17 people in the studio with right. her. <laughs> I mean, these motherfucking classical musicians, mm -hmm. songwriters, poems, poetry. It's like, right. you want two niggas from the hood to compete with the all, -star all team. those resources? Yeah. Yeah. No, and I that's think for your first, second album kind of vibe. <laughs> and I think right. you'll win. After that, I mean, you can, but what I'm saying is, I mean, that's a that's a tough fight. We got a different uh, set are of you, Are you saying most of the people that's at that level? Yeah, they speaking for hip hop. This is what these ghetto ass black people that y'all forgot about, this is what we made. Right. It's like a school project. This is what we presented. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? From right. this ghetto ass school. Right. You know what I mean? Versus like a nigga just rapping for, it's almost like this. I tell people all the time, like, bruh, Ain't a dunk LeBron did that I ain't seen in high school. I'm from a black community, bro. Niggas doing 360s every day. Right, right. Niggas doing windmills every day. Right. It's them folks ain't seen it. Right. So it's like, why am I trying to rap to you, out rap you, or rap to you? You feel like I'm the GOAT because I don't, or you feel like I am the GOAT because I don't use a ghostwriter. It's like, bro, whatever I'm saying to you, it, you ain't, it ain't like you ain't never heard it. I ain't rapping for no nigga in my neighborhood. Cause what I'ma say to him, he done heard Jay-Z say it incredibly. He done say her Mav say a line. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But them people ain't hurt us. Mm -hmm. Our job is to sell to the people who gonna buy the product. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't going to the basketball game to see the Knicks like that. Like, it's like, yeah, it's cool. We're gonna go on a date night or something. And we white people buying no season tickets. Yeah. We never seen a nigga do a 360. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> it's it's like, amazing. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, I want them at my show. Mm -hmm. Niggas mm -hmm. who think, oh, this nigga ain't never had shit. This nigga ain't moved nothing. This nigga ain't shot nothing. All them niggas, you right, bro. I ain't. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right. Whatever the case, whatever you whatever. saying, because mm -hmm. it ain't nothing you ain't never heard. I disagree. I'm, I'm trying to. Why? I mean, I, I strongly disagree. Why you strongly disagree? Why you because like that? because for that to be the case, we wouldn't universally acknowledge somebody like Saha, like Math Hoffa, like mm -hmm. like uh, J Cole, like Kendrick Lamar. We wouldn't universally acknowledge them as above at elite level pins. Right. We acknowledge you as an elite level pin, mm -hmm. and although those people observe the culture. We're creating it and we crown our own. Now, I understand yeah. the idea of selling product. Yeah. But, but once you crown me, I'm good. Right? Well, you you are not, you specifically. We, I'm so, not, I'm just saying, if I wanted to use writers, mm -hmm. you already done crown me. Eh, it ain't that's, like. That's like winning a fight and then taking steroids after. Like. Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying Yeah, you is, won the fight, you got the belt, but now you need steroids to keep it? Nah, it's, it's That's not, an asterisk. It's not that. I, I fought a civil war. Now I'm fighting a global war. 
yeah, we could fight between few the best rapper between different neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm trying to get some money on it. I'm trying to be the best rapper around the world. So it's it's different experiences that I may not experience. It's different perspectives I may not approach a record from or anything that's what you use a writer for. What? A different cadence, a different, you know what I mean? Just like uh, th- delivery. Suggesting that um, versus pinning the actual words, two yeah, totally separate things. Yeah. I'm in the studio. I've suggested, hey, listen, if you, here's a topic. Here's a subject. Right. It, here's a different word. It, use this car instead of that car. Mm-hmm. I've done that. I've never yeah. pinned it. I've never pinned anybody. Yeah, shit. But, but what I'm saying, you came up in the era where the goals were different. The goals were to be accepted amongst your peers. No, I disagree. The goals have always been to make a money from the art. That's yeah, but I'm saying like, no, 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 I'm not, you know what I'm, I'm not, saying, but I've already impressed you. No, which which I completely understand. Listen, I'm yeah. not again, and I'm, I'm not I'm not arguing with the merits of right. what you need in order to compete with an Adele. Right. I just I see that as more of a financial thing. I think Adele has a marketing budget that most rappers don't have. Right. Adele has a, a, a production budget, a studio budget. Mm-hmm. Most rappers don't have. But when mm-hmm. we start talking about putting pin to pad and who's writing what, Sai High can write an Adele song. Adele can't write a side high song. You can write. You, you might. You just be surprised. But what I'm saying is like. I, I might be. Uh, uh, even, uh, uh, even in marketing, though. But even Adele in marketing. Got bars, you know? But even in marketing, rappers are get, having things that they usually typical to have. They didn't have their own cameraman. They didn't have their, their own uh, creative directors. Sure. They didn't have their own. You know what I mean? So they building. We building in that, sure. that area too. It's like right. a lot of pieces make this shit. When you, like I said, when you're speaking for the culture, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you can speak to the culture. Yeah, sometimes most artists wrote their own rap because they want the culture to notice them. Once they get that notoriety from the culture, now they want music in general to notice them. But it's certain things that, unfortunately, we handicap from where we may not grow up around pianos. But if you look at it like right now, mm-hmm. your top artists are former producers. Wanna know why? Because they figured out the production. It's easy to learn how to rap or get a nigga to rap versus get the production right. Mm-hmm. So you think thinking like, you know, your Travs, like Kings, your Ye's, your who else was great production wise? Oh, J. Cole. Uh, who else? Drake. Drake. Like Drake is very involved in the in the production side of no, it. I mean, too, Dr. So. Dr. Dre. I mean, that, that's Oh, not Dre what too. Dr. Yeah, Dre too. But Drake yeah. is involved with it too. He used to be a songwriter growing up. So it's like. These things is like furthering our culture as far as like how far we can take the, the genre of hip hop versus just it just being a circle of niggas who can just rap. That 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 still just sounds like a money issue to me. The more you invest, the more if I give you more tools to compete with these artists, you'll you'll be on the same plane. Nah, field. bro, them drums, mm-hmm. them yay drums hit different. Feeling in the world was holding my own gun. I'm hypertensive, but all my decisions been wholesome. My independence had me flipping on siblings I stole from. Said I'm just big and loud. Well, half a pound is my solid treatment. I punched out plugs I could have stopped from eating. Stash of the product. Shy nigga got him. Gun in the mass in the grass. It's a pop up. I was Robin Hood with the stock. Don't get shot up. Now I'm watching Robin Hood in my stocks. They just shot up. That's all it is. You just need to get treated to the